Hi everybody, this is Adrian, and I'm a part of the Tulsa Game Developers community, and I want to go over the editor and the viewport of the Unreal Engine. So I wanted to show off um, just some sections here to kind of go over them and give a little more details of what they do and what they're for. So if you open up Unreal Engine for the first time, this might be all a little new to you, and you'll have a big old screen in the middle here with some stuff that might be in here, and you might want to move around. And so if you are uh, with your mouse clicked here in the viewport, which is what we call this, it's highlighted, you can right click and you'll be able to move your mouse around. You'll be able to view. Okay. You can left click and it will select things. You'll see that when you select things, you might get um, little gizmos, what we call this, with a coordinate on here. This would be the Y, which is the green color, the red, which is the X axis, and the blue, which is the Z axis. So we can move it up on the Z, we can move it left and right on the Y, we can move it forward and back on the X. So um, this is a fun little thing. Now, if we want to move over to there, we can on our keyboard use the W, A, S, and D key while holding down the right mouse button. And this will allow us to move the camera around while also moving in world space. And so we can fly around and we can view things. It's pretty great. Okay. Now, um, this is um, pretty great for the viewport and stuff, and this is going to be a very basic and general overview, but over here on the left side we have our place actors, and this is going to be a plethora of things. Um, you'll have your lights, your shapes, your cinematic stuff, visual effects, geometry, volumes, and then just everything in general. You also have a recent tab of anything that you've been recently using. Now. Um, this is all might be a little bit vague, but essentially you just click whatever you want and drag it into the scene and you'll be able to use that. Okay. So if you want to take a light, bring a light in. So that's going to be a very, again, very simple and basic overview. And if you have any questions over these things, you can always reach out to us in the discord community and we can go over these things in further detail. Um, you can also highlight, um, over or hover over any object within the uh, place actor panel. And you can see that it gives you a little bit of a tool tip telling you what it is. And some of these have a question mark next to them, which it tells you if you hold control and alt, you'll get more information, which will also link you to a full documentation that's located on the Unreal Engine's um, documentation site. So there's a lot of really great and cool things here. Now, further down, we have our content browser. This is essentially everything that's within your um, your project. So this is gonna be kind of your file hierarchy. So we have over here on the left-hand side, we have a more traditional hierarchy that we're used to. So we could click on the drop-down arrow and it'll show us more stuff. Or we can do this in um, a more thumbnail way. And so we can come over here and we could say, we wanna look at the characters, and we want to go look at the Unreal Mannequin and then the meshes and so on and so forth. Okay. Um, there's a lot of really cool things that we can use from here. There's some options and stuff that we'll go further into at a later point. But just wanted to show where your stuff would be and where you can pull content that you've either imported or was put into the engine to drag again, select and drag out into the viewport. Okay. Awesome. So over up on the top right now, we have our outliner, and this is our hierarchy within the viewport, within this world space. And this is where our game or project will be. And so you can see here that we can scroll up and down with the mouse wheel, and we can click on any of these objects. And if we click on the objects, you'll see in the viewport, it'll update with the gizmo. So if you're looking for a specific thing, you can always find it here in the outliner if you know what its name is, and then you can manipulate it from there. Okay. There are a bunch of different icons that tell you what they do. So there's some that have skeletons that tell you that they have bones inside of them and then they're animated. Um, <clears throat> there's some that have little lights on them that tell them that they're lights. Some that are just bricks 
and this is just a static mesh. But again, we'll be going over these in more details later. And then further down, we'll have our detail panel. And what the detail panel is, is very cool. So anytime you click on something, this detail panel is going to change. So you can see here that if I click on this one, all of the stuff changed over here. But if I click on this one, we get different things. And so these are the details per object within your scene. And so you can get a lot of really great stuff out of here. There's a lot of settings, so don't let it uh, scare you too much. Uh, it's it's really there um, to, to help you along. And you'll learn a lot of these things as time goes by, and uh, it's a really great panel for wonderful things. Now, there are other panels as well. So if you're missing any of these panels, you can go up to the top of Window. And in the window here, there's a bunch of different editors, and, or I'm sorry, not editor, panels panels that we can use. Um, and uh, so we can pull any of these up. So if you're missing the outliner, um, so let's say you accidentally hit exit on that, and you're like, no, what do I do? You can hit the outliner, it'll bring it up back, okay? So there's um, a lot of wonderful things in here that we'll also be going over. Um, so... This is a general overview of your first time in Unreal Engine, just trying these things out. So uh, I hope you enjoy it. And if you have any questions, again, please reach out to us in the community. We're all trying to grow together and we just wanna be able to share and help each other. Bye.